Our next comedian. Uh, he is a wonderful, thoughtful comic. He has a podcast himself about mental health and sex called Losing It. Everybody, give it up for the very funny James Pate. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice. I love... I love all of you. I love being here. I love all this stuff. I love doing comedy, y'all. I love doing comedy. I love the things that people say most of the time when they come up to me after a show. I had a girl come up to me after a show uh, recently and she was like, hey, you're really funny. I was like, hey, thank you. And she's like, hey, has anybody ever told you that you remind them of Chris Pratt? And I was like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. But thank you for saying that. Like, come on, Zero Dark Thirty, Jurassic World. Guardians of the Galaxy, that guy's like, oh, thank you. And uh, she was like, no, 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 none of those movies. Did you ever see the first season of Parks and Rec? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Most of the time I get Chucky from the Rugrats or Arnold from the Magic School Bus, so it's cool. I'll give you a pass this time. Uh, I, uh, let's see. I, it's gonna get weird. There's a place in New York where the Italians live, and they call it Little Italy. And then there's a place in New York where all the Catholics live, excuse me, there's a place in Italy where all the Catholics live, and they call it Diddle Italy. Uh, <laughs> they call it the Vatican, that's my bad, but y'all knew that. Uh, sorry, let me try that again. There's a, there's a place in New York uh, where all the Chinese people live, and they call it Chinatown. And then there's a place in China where all the Tibetan people live. They still call it China. They're pretty uptight about that kind of thing, as it turns out. Really uptight. Some geopolitical humor. Just filling you out. That's fine. I like that joke because people hear Italian and Chinese, and they're like, oh my god, is he going to do something racist? <laughs> no, here's the racist one. Uh, when I grew up in New Mexico, <laughs> I, I learned to sit cross-legged. I learned that... Uh, it was called sitting Indian style. That's the one. I, I know some of you went to school in progressive, progressive Boulder, and you learned the crisscross applesauce. That's fine, but I learned the racist one. And but I, I also learned that if you stood up during story time and you walked across the circle and kicked some kid in the face uh, and took their seat, that was called sitting white man style. So it's you know, growing up in New Mexico is public education. Uh, <laughs> it's real weird. I uh, oh my gosh. My friends asked me, uh, one of my friends asked me the other day, uh, he's like, James, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge too? Uh, yeah, 100%. All my friends just died. That sounds super sad. Uh, I'm not suicidal or anything, but all of my friends just died, you monster. I'm 30, that's too old to make new friends. I can't be, come on. No, <laughs> too much. Uh, oh my gosh. I, uh, uh, anybody, uh, anybody dating out there? Anybody on a first date out there? Anybody in a in a in a, in a relationship? No, all single. Good for you. Uh, anybody in a, a, a committed relationship? Not because either party really knows how to put together a committed relationship properly, but because neither party really knows how to put together a one night stand <laughs> properly. And the sex has been good, and one of you is awesome at making waffles, and you know, just throw a little whiskey in the mix. Call it commitment. That's how your parents did it. Uh, <laughs> I had, a, I had a girlfriend, I dated a girl for a while, she was a doctor, if you can believe that, take that with a grain of salt, she was dating me, I, I, uh, but she, she studied uh, neurochemistry, the chemical changes that take place in your brain, and she told me that I would be a good dad because of how well I handled my drugs. <laughs> I, had to, I had to ask her to dumb that down for me, why would she say such a thing? She told me that uh, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, when your brain figures out that you're going to become a parent for the first time, uh, it, it, you know, it, it starts producing more of a neurochemical known as dopamine, uh, which we all know and love. That means like when you smoke a joint or drink a glass of wine or ride a horse shooting a shotgun off with each hand, that's all dopamine saying, this kicks ass, let's keep going. Uh, uh, that means when you see a new parent and they're just covered in like, every bodily fluid and they've just got this dopey smile on their face and they're going, this is the greatest thing you can do with your life. It's because they're high. <laughs> they have a chemical imbalance and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, 
I, I dabble, you know, I dabble. I, I was dabbling at a music festival recently, wondering where the line might be. How many, how much dabbling is too much dabbling? I, uh, I, uh, I was taking a lot of drugs at the same time. And, uh, and then the, the, uh, the example walked past me in that moment. This guy, it was a music festival, so he had his basketball shorts on and his shirt off and his visor hat flipped upside down and his hands up in front of his face just going and I was like, oh my god, I don't want to do that many drugs. That's a lot of drugs. Uh, take it back a little. But uh, I thought about what my girlfriend had said and, you know, it occurred to me that if you just put a baby in that guy's hands, like, he's just being a good dad, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, kids are, I, 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 uh, I, kids, kids are crazy. I, Kids are crazy. I know kids are crazy because I was a kid. I and d d I had to carry around a, a, a sack of flour when I was in middle school because we didn't get MTV at my house and they needed to prove that we shouldn't be a teen parent, right? But at that point, it is just a sack of flour. It's not a baby. And I guess that's kind of the point. But still, I, it's just ingredients for a cake. It's not even a whole cake yet. You know, it's hard to care. But I, I, I think they should wait until you're older. They should wait until you're in college. And they should give you a bottle of wine to care for for like 90 days. <laughs> it's got a lot in common with a baby, you know? Just like hold it by the body, not by the neck. Don't be uncouth. And uh, if you've got time, let them breathe. Uh, all right, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome. Give it up for Daniel Ruskin, Denver Open Media. Thank you so much. Stay there, James. James Payne, everybody. Chat with us for a second. Okay. I never take the mic out of the stand. That's not my thing anymore. What's up? It's like I'm you're really done. unwind. It's like you're really opening yourself. Now I'm gonna yeah. like try to chill out. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so uh, you've definitely got some. I'm not sure if it's father issues or child issues. Sure. <laughs> Success. First one, then the other, my friend. <laughs> and, and these are things you talk about. Uh, you have a show. You have a podcast on the Sex Pod Comedy. I do. I Network. run a uh, I run a podcast, as you mentioned at the top there, called Losing It. Uh, it's the Sex and Sanity podcast, and it's about the first time you went to therapy or the first time you had sex, and then we kind of just go from there. Sometimes at the same time. I haven't gotten one of those yet. If you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. If you're out there, hit me up. <laughs> Need a whole new therapist after that. But yeah, <laughs> this definitely. Um, Boundaries. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, where? Indeed. You, you, did you say where to find it and everything? I didn't. Thanks for the reminder. This is a guy, killer host. Uh, you can find it over on sexpotcomedy.com, of course. Uh, again, losing it. Sex and Sanity podcast. It's under the podcast section. Check it out. And where can we follow you? You can follow me on the 15 bus and the Twitter and the Instagram at D James Pate. The letter D James Pate. The D is silent, y'all. D James Pate. DJ yeah. Ames Pate. DJ Ames Pate. D All James right. Pate. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, James. Thank you so much. I will Thank see you. Thank you much. James Pate.